supreme understanding. Supreme UTV. How to Hustle and Win. Rap Racing Revolution, April 2009. Make sure you check for that. I'm going to address one of the topics in the book. It's not so much in part one, but it will be in part two. And I know I'm going to hurt a lot of people's feelings. I'm going to ruffle a lot of feathers. So I figured I'd address it now and start talking about it. Let's start this discussion. You can get at me, but uh, just make sure you address what I'm talking about, man. Not what the fuck you think I'm talking about. Make sure you get at what I'm talking about. What I'm going to talk about is homosexuality. Now, I'm not homophobic. Here I am in Piedmont Park. I chose this setting. I chose the location. First of all, it's beautiful, as you can see. But I chose it because, you know, if you know anything about Atlanta, Midtown Atlanta, Piedmont Park in particular, is, uh, is real a heavy area for the, uh, for the whole gay community out here. I happen to be out here getting something to eat. So before you get your little ideas, man, man, keep that shit to yourself. But like I said, I'm not homophobic, you know. Do what you do. My issue is with why so many of us, so many people of color, especially men of color, are uh, doing the do at this point. Look at these birds. Ain't that cute? Can you see them? Okay, nobody wants a cookie. All right. No, they don't want a cookie. What are they going to do? Talk to you? You're talking to the birds? Anyway. When you listen to our music now, these motherfucking rappers are talking about how they got fruity swag. We got fruity swag. Are you serious? Fruity swag? Motherfucker, if you would have called me fruity back in the day, we'd have been fighting. Now fruity is the shit to be? Rainbow color clothes? Skinny jeans? And, and they did a survey on the radio where they asked a gang of women what do they think of skinny jeans and the women was like, no, my man and me should not be wearing the same jeans. These dudes are still wearing that shit though. Why? Why? Why are they selling this shit to us? Why are they selling us femininity? You know? You gotta wonder. Because statistically, I mean, you really wouldn't think that at Morehouse or and some of these other areas with high concentrations of people of color, that it would be like a 20%, 30%, 40% rate of people, you know what I mean, doing that. Like, that don't make sense. I mean, I could understand if you were like, yo, 3%, 4%, hey, you know, that is naturally, people had their chromosomes off a little bit. Not saying that's the only reason why I have, because, you know, some people make a conscious decision experiment. Some people, it's unconscious. But there's no genetic imperative to be with a person of your same gender. There's nothing, there's nothing genetic about that. It ain't no dick in the booty gene, I'm telling you. There ain't nothing natural about it, man. If you shitting on yourself and you can't control your bowels, then you should know that it ain't not, that's not natural. You know? Um, but like I said, man, if that's the thing that, you, that, that, that just what, is what makes sense to you, what the fuck am I going to tell you? And that's not my job. My job is to speak on behalf of the people that really don't have a voice. So I really need to address how our youth, just listen to the music. These motherfuckers are saying my bag matches my shoes. A grown man talking about how his bag matches his shoes. That don't make you think. That don't make you wonder about what they're pushing on us. It ain't just our culture. It ain't just the fact that every reality TV show got somebody that's a uh, man trying to be a woman or a uh, dude that's flaming, you know. It's more than the culture, it's more than the media. They um they got a basic they got a basically a, a situation where we need to be eliminated. And so population control takes on a number of forms. You got prison, you can eliminate the black male population through prison. You got death, you know, because we kill ourselves and we kill each other. And sometimes, you know, the situation we put ourselves in, where we get killed, that's our own version of killing ourselves. We got drugs. And all these things take us out the game, but there's still too many left. So, we got something else. We're going to take a man and make him not a man. First of all, who the fuck wants to be a man? Just like I asked in another video blog. Does it, who wants to be black? There ain't necessarily everybody that wants to be black. There ain't necessarily everybody that wants to be a man. I mean, in this society, being a man is not necessarily the most desirable thing. So you got people that consciously run from manhood. 
and embrace the lifestyle where anything goes, man. You could be a straight fool and you'd be accepted in the gay community. It's not like there's any specific boundaries or limits on what you can't do and what's inappropriate. I mean, a gay dude could say whatever. You could, you could talk to a female and be like, hey, bitch, what you wearing? And it's all good. <laughs> Let me say that. Let me say that with a little bit of bass in my voice. It's going to be a problem. You know, if, if you got a dude running down the street in, in a mini skirt or a tutu or something like that with a pink mohawk and, you know, that's all right. 